to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I am Pixelated Twix, and this is Little Twix. The last time we left off, we were stranded, oh well, I guess we were stranded on this, what looks like to be a little island. I don't know if it's deserted or not, but um, we were on a ship with a bunch of skeletons and some blob thingies and all these other things, and it uh, looks like everything died. Everyone died. I don't know. Can we pick this up? Or am I, am I, Oh, okay. Yeah, forgot. I'm supposed to hit this with my stick. With my stick. Um, I can hit everything with my stick. Uh, what is this? Can we hit that? Can we hit that with the stick? Is everything hittable? I mean, is that a word? Is it hittable a word? Oh, we can. It is. Is it food? It's food. It's food. I like it. I like it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of... Oh, treasure. Suddenly Twix hears a voice. There's nothing here. Uh, the whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky. Oh, I thought the treasure box was talking. Like, what? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Twix might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, I was like, what? Um, well, wait, wait a minute now. Let me finish, you know, doing stuff. Um, this looks like, you know, stuff that I might need. I mean, let's just be honest. I'm going to, uh, okay, I can't do that. Okay, can we swim? Can we swim in this? Is swimming a thing? Oh, swimming is not a thing. Swimming is not a thing. Abort. <laughs> Abort mission. Um, can we open this? All right, so seaweed. Okay. I mean, hey, one man's treasure. That's not how it goes. <laughs> man's junk is another man's treasure. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's just go through here and uh, see if we can dig out. Wait, do I have to dig a hole? Can I just climb through? Can I, nope, gotta dig. How do I dig? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, is it that scene? Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Yes. All right. I love it. Oh, we got a, like, a nice little aerial view of this beautiful... Island, very, very Grand Canyon as oh, is that a friend? That looks like a friend, a new friend. The sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven or hell? More likely. Oh, honey, don't say that. Huh? What was that noise? Oh, it's it's a dude. Probably wouldn't have a girl voice. Hey, bunches, who the heck are you? He called me bunches. I like it. Actually, that used to be one of my nicknames when I was a kid, Honey Bunch. Um, let's talk to you. I like your hair. Nice hair, dude, dude. Uh, you look a little evil. I don't know. Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? Your guess is as good as mine. It really is. Uh, you were on that ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach? Okay, that was way too much information. Um... So, how come you didn't cark it, too? What's your st what's your story? Your name's Twix, and you're an apprentice builder? See, you're giving too much information out, Twix. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know him from Adam. Huh? Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Oh, you've never heard of a builder. Gotcha. Anyway, my name is Malroth. Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. No, I, I really don't. I really don't, but... Okay, I guess we're following now. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. I actually, I don't mind being disappointed. I really don't want to see anything gross. Ah, oh, over here. Fine, coming. See, this is why we don't run off of people we don't know. Seriously, this is what you want to show me? Are you? Now that's what I call dead in the water. That you never have seen anything like this before. Okay, Malroth, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I like you. But look at your eyes. Yep. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. Great. Wait a minute. Your name's Malroth? Why do you look familiar? Seems, okay. And why didn't I see you on the ship? What's that? You don't remember seeing me on the board? Nope, I sure don't. But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Yeah, how did you? Cough, sputter. Oh. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, that girl isn't dead after all. Thank goodness. 
She sounds like she's in pretty bad ways, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. What? Who in the, who, who is your mother? Where is your mother? Um, excuse me, Malroth. Uh, gasp. <gasps> That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Where am I? How did I get here? Flix, don't you go telling people information. <laughs> You're the pirates, aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigades who, who, who shall take me captive and de demand a ransom for my safe return. What? What? Oh, that's her screaming and running away. Oh. You do know... She, okay, she doesn't realize that there's, that there's not a wall. I mean... There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? Malroth, there's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honor? Malroth, what do you... Sir! I... Is this person dead? There's no response to just court. Oh, gosh. This is, this is, this is a lot. This is too much. This is too much. A wave breaks in the shore and washes the body of the sea. <gasps> this is too much. What is that? Is that the Ocarina of Time? There's no response to corpse. Is that somebody else? Oh my gosh! No! No! It's just a corpse! No! Listen, this is too much. This is too much. I don't need Melrose following me. I don't want him nowhere. Oh, he's picking up stuff too? I don't know how I feel about Melrose hanging out with me. Something is wrong with this boy. Where is your mother? Go home, Roger. Um, oh, okay. Can't do that. Okay. I, Malrock, I don't need your help, sir. Yeah. Okay, I guess maybe it might be handy, but just, just stay behind me. I just wanna, just wanna do all this, because I have a feeling. Okay, we can punch things. I don't know if I'm comfortable with you following me, but you know, I guess I don't have a choice. Let's go talk to the young lady over here. Let me tell you something, sir. Let me tell you something. Don't you dare put your hands on her, okay? You stay behind me and I will smack you with my stick. That was a warning. Okay, let's go. Oh wait, this is, can we do this with this big log? Nope, can't do that. I guess the stick only breaks certain things. What about, oh yeah, what does this do? Wait, wait, what did I just do? I mean, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I, look? oh, pick up, yeah. Um, do we, do we want to pick this up though? I mean, do we? Look at her. She, she's so distraught. She doesn't realize that we could just walk through here. She went, I mean, at least she used the door correctly. Um, I'm gonna put this down. Let's talk to her. Excuse me. Get away from me, you villains. If you're gonna take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I get here, how I got here. I can't read. Well, you're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Twix when your ship, ship sank, wow. Oh yeah, that's right, there are people in the jail, I forgot. Just a moment, do I know you? Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship, the one who ran around grinning with those horrid monsters bark when the horrid monsters barked orders at you. It's kind of weird. I know. I have a thing. It's a thing. It's a whole thing. I know you were in cahoots with them, so that means it's all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? Um, nothing, because I'm here with you, stranded, just like everyone else. Um, you're going to make them things we need. We're going to make the things... You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Did I say that? Mm. Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I feel like you're trying to tell me something here. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what will we, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Mission, Lulu's demands. Well, she is bossy. We'll need a shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then, okay? We'll need, um, okay, the walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. And what are you going to be doing? I mean, who died and made you, Queen of Sheba? 
you can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good food on the bonfire. So I'm cooking too. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us. So we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling and a bonfire first. So I've got to have to do all this. You need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there's plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Build some beds. Now I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm get to get my beauty sleep. You know, Lulu, I'm starting to wish that you washed no, that's so mean. Let me keep going. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters. So we, what? So we shall have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the rooms when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do. I know, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here? Anyway. Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. Wow, she really did a 180 from the beach. I mean, she was just running away from us not too long ago. Now she's busting us around. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. No, I mean, she's not lying. <laughs> don't you think you're impressed? Don't think you're impressing anyone with those almighty muscles. I mean, okay, I don't see them, but you know what? I am blind, so you're excited. Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty mus these muscles are. Oh, slow your roll, Malroth. Calm down. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery. I mean, I'm a girl just like you. Really? Ugh, fine. Somebody's got to do it. That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly what I asked. Yeah, I have a feeling that you weren't actually asking me. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then, when you become a fully-fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Mm. Okay. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? My sentiments exactly. Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? You know, Mal Ralph? No, 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 no. You're right. No, let's let the mission begin, shall we? What's that funny looking thing you've got there? What? What are you talking about? It wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl was driving about by any chance. Well, yeah, you saw me, like, picking them up. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of those in raw, we'd be chucking up some chunks till the break of dawn. And that's something I'd rather avoid. You both are really testing me. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Okay, so... That girl really gives me the hump. First, she won't stop whinging. Then the moment she wants something done, she's barking at orders like we're her servants. My sentiments exactly. I'll keep saying that. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her skivvy. I don't know what that is, but you're right. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I know she's strained here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, okay. I didn't see anything. <laughs> She's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto. Well, I, I don't agree with that, but by the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know, you said you were a builder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that like something to do with a duck's nose? Huh? A oh, builder. I can't. <laughs> Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of our errands you'll do first? Um, no. Mm. If it was up to me, I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes. And hey, presto, we've, we're buildered ourselves. We've buildered ourselves a brand new room, right? Uh, to be honest, I blanked out the rest of her requests. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. I don't. I really don't. She wants me to cook, clean, um, fetch a pail of water. Um, okay, so, okay, that I can't do anything there. So, do I use sand or wood? Okay, she says I'm going to workbench. Build? Um, oh, this is a workbench? So, what is this? What do you make? Okay, I don't. Okay, there's nothing here. Change category? Okay, that's it. Okay, well, let's escape. Let's get out of here. It's scappy. Um, so... Can I... I can't do anything with these. Yes. 
to the water. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna be he's gonna be my little handy dandy dude. So I, I can build a fire apparently. I don't know how to do that. Let's try to do that. How do I build a fire? So let's first make a room, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm not really sure how to do that, but can I use I don't, I feel like sand would be like the worst thing to make. Okay, that's, what is this? Okay, we can use sand. I guess we'll just use sand. I mean, that's not exactly wise. Um, there's a tale about that. Man, that built this house out of sand. Or is that like the, oh, can I pick these up? Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's just do this. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Okay, two, two things, two things die. Okay, um, like that? Okay. I mean, we don't necessarily need windows. I mean, this isn't exactly protecting us. So wait, she repaired my room. My room? My room? You mean our room? Now I have somewhere to hide and safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms, okay? Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by any time of life. Well, what about us? Where are we staying? Mission, make a room. Okay, cook food on the bonfire. First of all, Lulu, this is our place. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Yes. Um, right mm -hmm. next... Right, next up is dinner. She wants us to cook some of these scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Is that something you can do? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. I have an idea. Eureka, Eureka, Twix learns a new recipe. Oh, I learned how to play, make a bonfire. A big bundle of branches that burns brightly can be used to cook food. Cool. Mm -hmm. What's the deal with that book? None of your business. Twix! Huh? You just invented the bonfires and now you can build one if you have enough materials? Twix, you're giving too much information out. All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench? Twix! Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I brought this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Twix! His name is Malroth. We know him. Um, Twix obtains three spots of oil. All you need now is wood. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood and broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyway, you better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It's, it'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. Oh, I agree. All right. Um, can we build a bonfire in here? Um, let's open this. All right. So where do we build the bonfire? Like right here? Okay, wait. So it's here. Okay, so we need one. We just need one. Awesome. All right. Got oh. it. So can we build in here? Um, just put it right here. And that's perfect. It keeps you nice and warm. What's that you've made? It's hot as heck, and it spits out. It spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire, Malroth. You're so smart. But are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Sir, I'm the expert here. You can use the bonfire to cook food, select an ingredient, put it on the fire with the right mouse button, then press E to start. Okay, so, okay, let's place. Do we have food? There we go. Hi. Uh, cook. <laughs> Careful, Twix, that scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Mm. Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food too, eh? So I'm a cooker and a builder. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, uh, a, I'm a double threat. Uh, let's go and look for more materials while we wait. Okay, uh, so food takes a little time to cook. Just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it, just like real life. Um, actually those look like they cook very easily. So now we need to build some beds. So I'm not really sure what we need for beds. Um, okay. Oh, food's done. Food's done. 
She looks so comfortable doing nothing. Um, sniff, sniff. <laughs> that aroma. Is that the smell of succul succulently seared scallywinkle? I must have it. Uh, hand this over. I don't know. Okay, fine. There you go. I'm too nice for my own good. Oh, num, num, num. Whatever. I'm hungry too. The scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible. That sounds delectable. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scaly winkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. Well, everything looks vaguely edible right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier, too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Yes, cook food in the bonfire. Thank you, Lulu. We made our own. We cook food. Now what else? Oh, rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. Of course not. Twix and Melroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Twix, but what do you do, Melroth? Well, I'm... Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. He's going to turn on us. He's going to turn on us. <laughs> well, well. An apprentice builder and her uh, amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Yeah. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like her, you must be dreaming. <sighs> Yawn. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared skellywinkle has filled up nicely. I'm glad you're satisfied. So, Twix, how's progress going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay, literally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's about to... Oh, look at that. Twix has learned how to make a bed. Makes a bedding made from dry weed, plank, weeds, planks, and a plonked in a pile. Can be slipped up. Okay. Here we go. She's got her book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make a straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw some dry... Something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Would that be what you're looking for? I don't know. Which way is west? This is west. Let's go. Um, I thought maybe we we're gonna have to make things out of seaweed, but I guess not. Hey Twix, I wanna ask you something. Okay. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does that does any of that actually mean? Twix, you smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you use to make new stuff? That's what being a builder is all about? Ah, okay, I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, it might be a, be 10 a penny where we come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you about my blissful builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. Yeah, I can see that. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. You are one selfish dude. You're not too different from Lulu. Oh. Oh, those things. Those things are bad. Do we kill these? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Do we, do we smash those? Oh, we do smash those. Oh, sweet. Oh, he smashes things too. Thank you. Oh, these are just adorable though. They're so adorable. I feel bad about smashing them. But now that I know that they give away. Um, so too cute for their own good. Okay, is this what you're talking about, straw? Oh, I see. Awesome sauce. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Let's hurry up and get this done. Take that, you monsters. Get them. All right. All right. Let's get some more of these going. Collect as much as you can. I like how he collects stuff. I don't have to tell him to collect anything. Very cool. Thank you. 
Uh, let's click as much as possible because I'm not really sure how much we'll need. This is really cool. I love the AI system in this game. Is that all we need? Oh, okay. Let's collect all we can, okay? Look at him go! Uh, here, let's see. Look at him go! If your fullness gauge ever drops below 0%, you won't be able to dash or stream two swords to get us. Two swords slash together. It's wise to fill your stomach before it happens. Okay, so I'm hungry. Now, where is that? So she's hungry. Okay. Let's go back and let's cook dinner because apparently we're going to need to. Um, I'm hungry at 10%. Oh, okay. So something looked interesting over there. I definitely want to go back and check that out, but it seems like we're going to need to eat dinner first. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here. We've been recording for almost 30 minutes and I don't want to make this any longer than necessary. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Of course, since YouTube uh, uses all the algorithm stuff, this will definitely tell them that you like content like this. And if you're not a member of the family, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see your face again. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. This is uh, Pixelated Lady Twix, that's Little Twix. Uh, that's Evil Malroth. And over there is Bossy Lulu. Until next time, ciao!